Hey guys, welcome to my show. This is called the Biblical Show. I'm your host, Landon C. I hope you enjoy, and let's get this started. So this is a book about Joel. He talks a lot about um, past and future events in Judah. Um, there are a lot of tragedies. There's a lot of forgiveness. There's a lot of mercy, and it's going to be great. We'll have three points, and we'll have a bunch of verses, and we'll have a conclusion. So let's get this started, not to hold you back. So first, um, Joel started um this imaginary thing about the locust so um this is in verse 4 chapter 1 he goes in like the life cycle of how judah is sinning and how destruction is awaiting the kingdom um he talks about crankenware which is translated in liquor and caterpillar which translates in consumer is about um the plague that is going over um judah so this um locust comes and it's eating all the crop and making people hungry so what joel does he's like what am i gonna do and he knows what he has to do he has to get the people to repent so he has the priests the elders and all the people to come and he says repent repent and while they're repenting they're just asking the lord for another chance and since lo the lord is so great he is so merciful and kills the locust as joel says in scripture for the day of the Lord is dreadful. How can anyone endure that? So, actually, why not? Let's do a verse um, to finish this first point off. It says, Fear not, O Lord. Be glad and rejoice. For the Lord will do great things as he did and save the people of their sin. Because they repented. Now, let's go to our second verse. Point. Our second point talks about the wine and the vine. It has about Joel has this wine and the drunkenness that's used by the future Jews. He says that the kingdom is of Judah is controlled to the vine that will grow the grapes of wine, but they are going to be cut off because they're drinking all the wine and are getting drunken of their sin. And they will be conquered and their wealth and they will have wickedness and this shows that they are not going in the right way as he's using he's using past events into the future events that is my second point let's get another verse in let's get a good verse in let's do joel 1 12 a vine is dried up and the fig tree is languished the pomegranate tree the palm tree also, and the apple tree, even all the trees of the field are withered because joy is withered away from the sons of men. That is amazing. I love that. I love how Joel came from the past. So we're going to have a quick break. See you in a little bit. Hey, guys. It's Big Joe here giving you a lesson about golf. Don't you just hate getting this ball all the time and just going... Just, you know, you're getting ready, and you get the ball. We don't feel like getting it. Well, that's why we got John 316. This is going to be a real lifesaver. Let's see how it does. All you have to do is place this here, and it will have a little stand right here. So what you got, just got to go put that in, step on it, Put it back, and that's a nice swing. And this is all for $19.99 and Big Joe Golf Lessons. Sick, dude. Okay, thank you, Bob. Um, Let's finish this up. So, the last thing about Joel is the um Chismas describing the loss of the temple. It, he talks about how... Everyone is mourning about the loss of their temple. And this is how they are going to lose um, their wealth and everything about it. So he's trying to say that they're trying to tend the vineyard, but it's not being tended. Let's finish this whole thing up with a verse. Joel 1.14, Sanctuary, as fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the elders and the inhabitants, of the land onto the house of the Lord of God and cry unto the Lord. That is all for today. Let's get this all rounded up. So Joel really talks about 
um, a lot of stuff. He types the vine and the wine. He talks about the locusts. He talks about the chimeris. Um, and he just refers to a lot of things from the past to the future. And I think it was a great book. I want to thank you for listening and have a nice, wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for being here.